Happy Monday and welcome to the first episode of Extra Innings with Ben and Lyndon. I'm Ben Bobick. This is Lyndon Blake and spring training is finally here. It's the most exciting time of the year on the Sun Coast. And we're going to start right up north at Bradenton. The Pittsburgh Pirates coming off an OK season in 2015. And a lot of it surrounds the outfield. There's a big shakeup this year. We have Starling Marte, the gold glover in left field, moving to center. Andrew McCutcheon, the former MVP in 2013, moving to right. Gregory Polanco obviously going over to left. It's going to be a different feel for the, obviously, Andrew McCutcheon has had a very tough offseason with trade rumors circulating everywhere. He's staying in Pittsburgh. He's going to right field, and it should be an interesting shakeup. But as a fan, how do you feel about the move? It was necessary. Starling Marte has the better arm. He's faster. And I think it needed to happen for the Pittsburgh Pirates, and obviously, and one of their top prospects, and one of the top prospects in the entire MLB, Austin Meadows, is on the verge of getting his big league call, which we'll eventually see if Andrew McCutcheon gets shipped up somewhere else later on the season he's poised for a bounce back year all eyes are on him this season but again Austin Meadows it's gonna be the guy to keep an eye on this spring he's a younger cat and we'll see if he can come up and play some big league ball this year yeah well the Pirates had an okay year the Rays had one of their worst records in franchise history and their big spring training question I guess you could say is are the players going to be back? There were several surgeries in the offseason. We had Steven Souza Jr. had a hip surgery. Matt Duffy had surgery on his Achilles. And then Logan Morris in the first baseman had the wrist surgery. So they were all kind of like September, November surgeries. They should all be back for spring training. But how, you know, good will they be? coming back after these surgeries. See, I think they're a very underrated ball club this year. The Rays are in that high-packed ALE, so you have the Yankees are on the come up. The Red Sox are always there, and of course the O's. But I think the Rays with that young payroll, or that young team and that, that low payroll will surprise a lot of teams this year if they stay healthy, like you said. And speaking of health, we go over right here in Sarasota, the, uh, the Orioles are back in town. Obviously, Mark Trumbo's back, three-year deal, $37 million. I think a lot of people are gonna be happy to see him this spring. I know, and they have a little bit, I wanna say, Drama. I guess Ken Rosenthal called it a little bit of drama with their catcher. Yes. That well, is not going to play, you know, for America in the World Baseball Classic. You know, yes. Well, Wellington Castillo is actually a Dominican, so he will be mm -hmm. playing for the Dominican Republic, which is uh, tough for a lot of people because he's a new catcher, and with his young staff, the Orioles are bringing in. What's going to happen? You know, he, he needs to gel with these pitchers, but also he's playing in the World Baseball Classic. It will take up some time a lot this summer. And speaking of the World Baseball Classic, we're going to highlight a lot of those teams or a lot of those players that will be playing in that from the local teams here in tomorrow's episode but thanks for joining us today and we'll see you again tomorrow.